number 20, Saga Frontier 2. Saga Frontier 2 shows that it's never too late to fix things. Updating the series' traditional format with a lavish graphical style and 32-bit complexity, Saga Frontier 2 will likely please RPG fans who are able to overlook the first title's looming shadow. Number 19, Guardians Crusade. If you fire up Guardians Crusade expecting an epic confrontation, oh, what that 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 good and evil, you will have the steam to come back. Pub 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 disappointed. Approach the game without preconceptions, and you are likely to be pleasantly surprised. Charming, sweet, and unpretentious, Guardians Crusade never pretends to be anything besides an enjoyable RPG. Number 18, RPG Maker. Having no false expectation as to the limitation of its toolset is an important thing when considering how satisfied you'll be with RPG Maker. Knowing off the bat that your experience with RPG Maker will frequently have your elbow deep in the most hostile of interfaces will most adequately prepare you for the rigors of RPG making. Number 17, The Legend of Dragoon. Perhaps The Legend of Dragoon, being a bit on the rare side, has kept the nostalgia more alive than it otherwise would have been. But in any case, if you're a fan of JRPGs, this is still well worth a play. The story especially does have its high points, though they come nearer to the end of the game than you might hope. Number 16, Legend of Legaya. Despite the flaws that keep Legaya from being the world beater that it could have been, it still remains an engaging RPG for anyone who likes to play RPGs. After having obtained all three characters, you'll find yourself entertained for hours upon hours. Overall, The Legend of Lingaya is a worthwhile way to spend your time. Number 15. Wild Arms Wild Arms is not without its problems. Still, the game's brilliant storyline, amazingly long data, and multitude of character options make it very easy to overlook the game's weak points. Every fan of RPG games should at least take a peek at this title. Number 14, Dragon Warrior 7. Dragon Warrior 7 comes from one of the most popular series of video games in Japanese history, and it's a game that knows its <coughs> target audience well. If you know you're in the market for a very lengthy and ultimately satisfying RPG and can get over the visuals, you owe it to yourself to give Dragon Warrior 7 a try. Number 13, Suicoden 2. Fans of the first Suicoden game will love the sequel. It improves on everything that had made the first game memorable. Suicoden 2 brings nothing new to the genre, but it executes well enough that no one will really care. Breath of Fire 4 Breath of Fire 4 is as solid a game as any of its predecessors. Though it doesn't improve upon the standard RPG formula, it is hard to fall in any specific way. Nice presentation, an interesting storyline, satisfying RPG style gameplay, and a lot of visuals combined to make it a good game for RPG hardcore fans. Number 11, 
Chili powder. Nice uh, precipitation for pink chip. But really obtain overall number 15, Wild Arms. Wild Arms is not the games with points. Every fan of RPG games should at least take a peek at this title. Number 14, Dragon Warrior 7. Dragon Warrior 7 comes from one of the most popular series of video games in Japanese history, and it's a game that knows its target audience well. If you know you're in the market for a very lengthy and ultimately satisfying RPG and can get over the visuals, you owe it to yourself to give Dragon Warrior 7 a try. Number 13, Suikoden 2. Fans of the first Suikoden game may love the sequel. It improves on everything that had made the first game memorable. Suikoden 2 brings nothing new to the genre, but it executes well enough that no one will really care. Fire 4 is as solid a game as any of its predecessors. Though it doesn't improve upon the standard RPG formula, it is hard to fall in any specific way. Nice presentation, an interesting storyline, satisfying RPG style gameplay, and above ever visuals combined to make it a good game for RPG hardcore fans. <laughs> Suikoden. All in all, Suikoden is a fine, I would sure, RPG. Experienced pro players should be able to whip through it in no time. Even though ah! shouldn't encounter too much trouble. Oh. It's got an appealing storyline and tons of characters to experiment with. Eternal Blue. Lunar 2 is a true classic, one of the finest RPGs ever produced. The high quality of its character-driven storyline is matched by few games. While this remake on PlayStation provides many enhancements upon the original game itself, such as the epilogue and plethora of anime scenes, it still suffers from some problems. is certainly unique in the world of RPGs. The only problem is that it takes a lot of passion and effort to appreciate what the game has to offer. But if you're looking for different RPG experience and you don't mind a game that takes itself very seriously, you'll get your money's worth from the Prepare to be cleansed! Divine Assault! Persona 2 Eternal Punishment Persona 2 Eternal Punishment has its share of flaws, but if you can manage to get over those flaws, you'll find an RPG that dares to be different, but not at the sake of an interesting story and exciting gameplay. RPG fans looking for something other than standard formula should definitely give Persona 2 a shot. Seven, Lunar, Silver Star Story Complete. Lunar's Silver Star Story Complete is a must buy for fans of the series, as well as an excellent introduction to this landmark RPG series. Lunar may not have modern aesthetics, but its gameplay and story are among the best of any RPG of any era. Grandia. 
translation aside, Sony has a real winner on its hand and it probably doesn't even know it. Rengia is every bit as worthwhile as Final Fantasy VIII, just in different ways. For many people are putting this one up for Final Fantasy VIII, Rengia is a fantastic game for anyone looking for a light-hearted, truly satisfying adventure. The question you must ask yourself is, are you prepared to dedicate a good portion of your time to take part in a powerful story unlike anything you have ever witnessed before? If your answer is yes, and you can approach Final Fantasy VII, and you will find it be among the most incredible games you have ever played. Some say the game is a combination of the previous Final Fantasy games, it is quite distinctive enough to carve out its own image. In short, FF9 is the culmination of Square in the PS1. In conclusion, there is no denying that FF9 is quite possibly the best traditional RPG on the PS1 generation. Play it now. <laughs> What is up friends, it's Simon from PianoPig.com and today I wanted to explain to you what I think is the first bit of theory you should learn when getting into the world of jazz. Don't let the word theory put you off though, it's actually surprisingly simple and it will answer so many questions you may have had about theory. You'll be able to work out the key of a chord progression, you'll understand what people mean when they say player 6, 2, 5, 1, you'll be able to come up with your own chord progressions. All these cool and really useful things come from functional harmony. And I'm going to break it down in a way that is really easy to understand. 
And this lesson you're about to watch is actually from my brand new course. Ну вот видишь даже. Or about interpretation, or about how we. 
вся музыка из этого состоит, понимаешь? Да. да. То есть из набора произведений классических. Чтобы быть в тренде, понимаешь, надо это, да, да, да. Ну да. Вот смотри, почему ты, ну она про себя, ну это долгий разговор, но вот это и есть то же самое, да. Так наоборот. Что это такое?
сказать, что мужчины не фертильны. Да. Ну, то есть, ну, то есть, в смысле, да. Ну, это как бы откровение. Ну, в телесном смысле так, да.